Well, did he or didn't he? Did I keep it? Did I shave the mustache and the little uh, uh, soul patch off, or as someone called it, a flavor saver? Yeah, yeah, I shaved off the mustache. I still have the soul patch under here. Let me let me wash my face off. Hold on. This, this is my goatee looks a lot whiter than it should. <laughs> Don't want to have a Hitler mustache, believe me. There we go. No, I haven't shaved. I just uh, just wanted to give you a little surprise. So you can, you can't even see it. Like my this hair here is so light. I'm gonna keep that. I know some people. I had a lot of people that that liked the goatee look and a lot of people that didn't. And uh, so I shaved the goatee down to just the mustache and the soul patch and uh, everybody didn't like that, <laughs> including me. My wife didn't even mention it. I don't even think she noticed it and my kids didn't either, but I did and I didn't like it and that's why I shaved off the mustache and kept this, which you can't even see right now. But anyway, I did shave yesterday. I haven't shaved today. It's almost four o'clock, so it's kind of late for me to be doing this and I gotta go to work soon. So I thought I'd hop in here and shave this off using the new Fat Boy, the refurbished Fat Boy with a feather blade in it. And I'm gonna, this is gonna be like a normal shave, like the most normal shave you ever, you ever did see. You ever did done see. <laughs> gonna use some Barbasol. And I'm gonna use the Cremo Post Shave Balm, which has become my new favorite aftershave balm because it just smells so good. I love it, I love it. So anyway, yeah. So, took a shower, did my hair, got some water down here in my Emesis Basin. I'm gonna put some hot water up on my face. Uh, I'm gonna try not to shave off the soul patch, or maybe I will, I don't know, you never know. So, in the last video I was talking about, I didn't know whether I wanted to give that new fat boy away, you know, like in a giveaway, and I had most people say that Sorry I about that. <laughs> the wife called, we just had to uh, get her phone fixed because um, it had a hairline crack in the screen. And uh, we went to Schlitterbahn this weekend, which is the uh, a giant water park here in Texas and in other places now, but uh, it started down in New Braunfels and uh, she took it in a waterproof case that was not waterproof, it filled with water, got into the crack that was in. And so we just had to go to the Apple store. She was testing it out. So anyway, as I was saying, uh, most people thought I should keep this new refurbished fat boy for a while at least. And I agree, I'm gonna try it. And I have been shaving with it every morning, um, you know, that I have shaved. So let me, um, and uh, uh, to try it out, see what it's like compared to the old grungy grandpa, which I'm not giving away, don't worry. Somebody, a couple of people thought I was giving away grandpa. I will never give away grandpa. As someone said, he's become a part of me. <laughs> I got my DNA on it, there's shave, shaving DNA. Come on guys. Anyway, no, I'm not giving away Grandpa Grungy. I might give this away if and when I ever reach 10,000 subscribers. I might do that. That'll be a while, I'm sure. But anyway, I'm going to shave with it again today with a feather blade, as I said. Now, I've used this, I think I've had like three or four shaves on this blade already. And I want to talk about how this refurbished, beautiful 1960 Fat Boy shaves. Because it is different than uh, Grandpa Grungy. And what I found was it's a lot milder than Grandpa Grungy. And I normally shave on a seven, it goes up to nine, and it, it didn't feel like it was doing much. I mean, it was shaving, but I like a little bit more aggressive, so I dialed it up to, to eight, and then I dialed it up to nine, and at nine it seemed just about right. It might have been a little too aggressive, so I've dialed it back down to eight. But, uh, so I don't know if that's uh, because of the the revamp service where they had to bend it back into shape and maybe that uh, caused it to be slightly more uh, or slightly less aggressive. I don't know. But I have noticed that with this fat boy. And then the other question I had was, you know, how many fat boys is too many? I've got three right now. Oh, almost shaved off the soul patch. Hold on. I'm just going to keep it for a couple more days and see if it fills out and see if it, maybe if the color become such or the length becomes such that I can actually see the dang thing before I ultimately shave it off. But for now I'm gonna keep it so and I know some people thought I should keep this razor and you know hand it down to my boys when they get old enough. And that would be a good idea too. These are all things I'm mulling in my head, you see my my little my little mind is uh, squeaking and turning. <laughs> trying to figure out what to do. Anyway, 
But then I was getting comments from people in Europe, specifically Portugal, and also from Australia, that were saying that it's near impossible to find these old vintage Gillette razors where they are uh, in Europe and Australia, things like that. And I thought, maybe it would be cool if and when I do the giveaway, if I make it a European a non-United States giveaway. Like for people, like here in the States you can get uh, these vintage Gillettes very easily, both in uh, uh, on eBay and uh, antique stores and things like that. So I thought about doing that. I don't want to alienate the rest of the world, you know, giving away a razor or anything like that. But I got several comments from people saying, oh my gosh, you would pay so much more than what you did for that thing over here in Europe or in Australia. And I just thought it would be cool to share the experience with Europeans, Australians, people that don't live here, maybe Eastern Bloc countries, I don't know. But uh, I don't know, this is all down the, uh, we're gonna kick this ball down the road and talk about it later, but uh, for now, let's just shave with the fat boy in question. Get it good and grungy before I possibly eventually send it off. Now, hold on a second. I'm gonna, I've got this on eight and it's still not, I wanna feel a bit more blade. So on these vintage ones, you gotta open it up and then adjust it. So I'm gonna put it on nine again. Cause I thought nine was a bit much. Maybe I'm not getting the angle just right, but I have used a fat boy enough. I, I should be able to know the angle, right? I don't know. It's almost like, uh, I don't know, a baseball player trying out a new style of bat from the same manufacturer or something. I don't know. Insert your own sports analogy, if you will. And it also could just be that everyone is different, you know? Each one is unique. So it could be that this one was, even though it came from the same year and within months of Grandpa Grungy, but I'm thinking maybe mostly it was that it was bent out of shape and got redone. Still shaves well, it's just not as aggressive. What I should do next time is shave with the grungy on nine, which I think I've only done a couple of times, and see if there's a really big difference. And I gotta get the angle right too. Maybe the angle on this one doesn't seem quite the same. I mean, it should be. It's almost the exact same thing, you know? Anyway, I don't know. I don't know. This is all just conjecture on my part. I'm thinking out loud, you know. So how are you guys doing? <laughs> Enough about me. How are you doing? I need to try to set up one of those Hangouts where I can actually have guests on, you know, like one of those uh, Google Hangouts where you can click the link and join me and talk. I think that'd be cool. So it's not just this weird one-way conversation I'm having with my phone that's sitting in my medicine cabinet in front of my sink. So I'll try to, I, I've tested that a little bit not too long ago, and uh, I'll see if I can do something like that. The only problem is I don't have a, a laptop, and it won't work on an iPad, so might have to do it from boring old inside the house instead of on the porch. Unless I haul the iMac out on the porch, which I don't necessarily want to do, but it's very portable. It's very portable. Okay, there's the second pass with the old Barbasol and the new fancy fat boy. Now, this lot of stubble here, but there's always stubble left, and I have to shave like this, which I don't necessarily like to do because it's. It doesn't feel great, you know? Up here is pretty good. Cheeks, pretty good. Let's go just do a third pass, just a little bit. The old Barbasol. I'm not using pre-shave oil because I want this to be kind of a normal shave, you know, like a normal daily shave. And uh, this is kind of my daily thing. Like I will more often than not use Barbasol day-to-day uh, -to, -day to shave. And then, you know, every now and then I'll get the brush out and the sterling or whatever. But mostly, I just kind of want to get it done. If I'm not talking to you guys, I just want to get in there and get shaved and get going. And since it's summertime, we've got the kids at home, we have to uh, figure out things for them to do and drop them off at day camps. And like I said, we went to Schlitterbahn yesterday, which is, which is this beautiful 
it's 40 years old now. It's been, it's new, in New Braunfels, the original, that's where we went. New Braunfels, Texas, if you want to look it up. And uh, it is great fun. It's got tube slides and water slides, and the original section is beautiful. It uses uh, water, spring-fed water from the Comal River, which is cool. I mean, you know, if you go to most water per parks in America, at least, they're just using uh, water that's been chlorinated and everything. But this, the original section of Schlitterbahn, uses water from the Comal River, which is, it's sitting on the Comal River. So it's a beautiful, it's a huge park. But, uh, it's this spring-fed little, little tiny river. And it's so much fun. I've been going to New Braunfels since I was a little kid and going tubing down the Guadalupe River and the Comal River. It's one of my favorite things to do in life. And my wife, she comes from Pennsylvania and she used to go tubing up there on the, uh, Gosh, what river is this escaping my... It's the one in between Pennsylvania and New Jersey. You tell me, please, in the comments, because I'm forgetting now. Um, the Delaware. Delaware? Is that right? The Delaware? Anyway, it's much... It's a much wider river than the Guadalupe or the Comal. Like, about, God, probably four times as wide. But she did that, too, growing up. Is that a thing in Europe? Tubing? I think it might be. You know, you get the inner tube from a tire, for usually a truck tire, and you inflate it, and then you sit in it and go floating down the river for a few hours. A lot of people like to drink a lot of beer when they're on the river here in Texas and listen to their music too loud and you know, act like uh, morons, which I don't like. I don't like that part of it. You know, anytime you mix uh, <laughs> certain types of people and a lot of alcohol out in the sun, you're gonna, you're gonna have problems, but uh, all right. Can you see, see, on the nine, I got a little nick there, and I got a little nick there, so, and a nick here. Nick here, nick there, nick, nick everywhere. So, I'm torn. I'm torn between the eight and the nine on this thing. I'm trying to just dial it into my preference, you know? Now, I do get nicked with uh, the other Grandpa Grungy. I do, that always happens. Not so much with my Rockwell. But, uh, yeah. Anyone that is watching this that also uses uh, a vintage Fat Boy uh, with any regularity, can you tell me, do you also get nicked more often with that as opposed to your other safety razors? I don't know if it's just me or, or what. All right, I always like to get those little tiny hairs that bother me whenever I run my hand over my face. Soul patch, can you see it? You can kind of see it. <laughs> Apologize for my farmer's tan. I did put on, I was wearing one of those swim shirts because we were out in the sun for like six hours. Uh, and plus, you know, my, uh, my man nip policy. None of that. <laughs> but I'm not in good enough shape to show off my, uh, my chest and everything. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody. Nobody wants to see that. A 48 year old man running around shirtless, please. So I did have a swim shirt on, but and I did put a lot of suntan lotion, so I did not get sunburned. But you know, you're gonna get some color no matter what, and I apologize for the <laughs> pale shoulders. That would be my Native American name if they, uh, you know, they have to name you. Or oh, pale shoulders. That's me, pale shoulders. All right, what do we got here? I think that's about right. Now down here, it's still got a little bit, but I don't want to go over it too much. Just a teeny bit here. And it is kind of hard to shave around the sides of this uh, little silly soul patch. But, you know, I'm trying. All right. Let's shut it down. Let's shut her down. Fat boy. Brand new fancy fat boy. Cold water on the face. Close the pores. Soothe any skin irritation. Uh, I got a lot. Wait, I got a lot right here. I don't like that. I don't like feeling a lot of stubble around my mouth. There we go. All right, good enough. And now, the cremo, the cremo de la creme <laughs> of aftershaves. <laughs> yeah, let's get all the old uh, minty, refreshing mint. And plus it's kind of a cool blue color. It's like the blue milk in Star Wars, you see that? Yes, I'm a giant Star Wars nerd. Has anybody gone to the Disneyland Galaxy's Edge Star Wars land yet? I don't live in California. But as you saw in some earlier videos from back during spring break, I finally got to visit there. Can't wait to go back and check out all the 
nerdy Star Wars goodness. Oh, man, this stuff. It just it, You got to try it for yourself. You might like it, you might not, but for me, it's just pushing all my scent buttons. All the... I'm, I'm very glad that I can smell. That's all I'm saying. I'm very appreciative that I can smell. <clears throat> Is that it? I, got, I keep doing this because I'm seeing the little nick start to... So I don't have a weird tick. I'm just trying to stop. I'm going to do this for the rest of the video uh, in lieu of putting toilet paper all over my face. So I want to <laughs> thank you all for joining me on this, this Monday afternoon. What time is it? I gotta go to work. Um, anyway, thanks for joining me, everybody. Um, I read all the comments, even if I don't uh, uh, respond to every single one of them, I do read every single one of them. So know that I'm seeing your comments and I try to put a heart <clears throat> by every single one to show you that I have, that I'm listening. I'm listening, I care just enough. <laughs> I care just enough. I, the minimum. I just care the minimum amount. I'm just kidding. Come on, you know. But anyway, thanks for joining me, everybody. And I'll see you again on Friday. Have a good week. See you then.